Would you welcome, please, the Chairman of the Referees Assessors, Mr. Mick McGrath. Mick is on the way. Might give him another round of applause there, ladies and gentlemen. Mick McGrath, Chairman of the Referees Assessors. Well done, Mick. Welcome. Good to see you. Up there, it's up there for yourself. We have an all-star footballer from County Leitrim. Will you welcome the legendary Mickey Quinn? Well done, Mickey. And we have two football managers for you. Co-manager from Leitrim this year is a great man indeed, Barney Breen. Well done, Barney. And last but not least, your senior intercounty manager, Terry Highland. Hello, Terry. If I can start with you, Mick. Hold on to that. Mick, uh, I know I asked uh, Pat McEnany this. Just a small bit of cuteness, ladies and gentlemen. We're on the last five or ten minutes. Thank you. Referees, good year, 2012. Uh Overall, it has been a satisfactory year. There has been, as Pat uh, referred to, uh, a few performances we probably wouldn't have wished to have seen, but referees are human enough and they make mistakes. But the majority of the major matches uh, have been refereed very well. And um, I think it's down to uh, picking a championship squad in both hurling and football um, from the National League, where you pick, the same as county teams pick their best squads, the referees pick their best squads for the championship, and um, most of them have performed very well. There's a lot of talk at the moment about the football, uh, football Review Committee. Is there any rule in particular you'd like to see changed? Um, I, th I think that any rule that isn't being applied properly should be reviewed. And uh, the hand pass, fist pass, has been uh, you know, messed about with for n a number of years. Yeah. And where somebody goes out and tries to apply it by the rule, he'd probably get hounded by everybody. So there's a mixture of most referees letting it go. And if it's a rule that should be looked at seriously, it, it should be applied, and um, maybe the, the Rules Committee should look at that one. I, I, but I think the majority of rules in general are being applied, and um, the teams have, are applying them properly as well. They've been coached properly. If we can put the microphone to Mickey Quinn. Um, Mickey, football is changing and evolving. Would you like to be playing in 2012? Would you enjoy the game? I don't think so, no. I, I, I think there's too much tactics in the game now. Too, there's too much negative tactics in the game. I think uh, teams have gone too defensive. And I think good players aren't really getting a chance to show themselves. I think like the Gooch Cooper or Peter Canaver or Morris Fitzgerald, they would never get a chance to express themselves like what they would 20 years ago, like good footballers would 20 years ago. I think it's too negative and... Uh, I think they should try and bring back the Mead style of football or the Kerry style of football more into the game. I think it would be much better for the game, better attraction all around, I think. And Mickey, what do you think of Donegal then? Yeah, well, Donegal has really perfected the game. I think uh, they have a great system and it's very effective and it's surely a winner for Donegal. And definitely, they seem to be playing a better style of football this year than last year. But uh, I don't think it's very attractive, as I said, for... Good players don't get a chance to express themselves. Like, if you go back and Jack O'Shea's years or Mick O'Connell's mm. years, like the catch that time was a big time in the game. It was a big thing in the game, but that's not happening anymore. And I think if they could bring that back into the game, it'll leave it more attractive. Um, Neil Gallagher, wasn't it? Neil Gallagher's Donegal midfielder, yes. He, he really yeah. brought back the old style fielding last Sunday. Y yeah, certainly, yeah. But... It's still, it's still very negative, the game, I think, the way it's played. I think if they brought the, as I said, the Mead style of football back, or the Kerry style, that is a lot more entertaining. Barney, Jim McGuinness is the, the man that's uh, getting the headlines. Jimmy, Jimmy's winning matches. <laughs> but you're a manager as well, obviously. So what do you think his impact has been? I mean, would you agree with the experts that he's kind of changed football a little bit? Yeah, yeah, I suppose for, uh, you look at the Donegal, the top 10 teams, the top 5 teams, you know, the, their goals are very much different than ours. You know, uh, I suppose Jimmy Guinness, he's, he's a very intelligent man. Uh, he, set up a, he set up a stall last year. Everyone says his defence, he got a lot of criticism for it, but that probably was phase one of his long-term plan. 
and uh, he's probably expressed, I suppose, you set up your team not to get beat, first of all. Mm. And uh, he probably did that, he perfected that last year. And um, he's just brought it on that 10, 15, 20% this year. So he's brought attack and option into it. So it's paid dividends for him, I think. Do you think Johnny Gold will win the All-Ireland? I do. Yeah. Uh, especially after last Sunday. Uh, I thought that that Cork was going to be the tester for them. Uh, I would have liked to see seen a situation where Cork would have been winning by two or three points or 20 minutes to go to see if they had a chase the game, what it would be like then. Uh, as what happened against Dublin last year, that they couldn't change their tactic to win the game against Dublin. So it would be interesting to see. Um, but I do think they'll win it now after last Sunday. If I can turn to you finally, Terry. I mean, you're the... You're the main man here in Cavan. What about 2013? Will Cavan make an impact? Well, we would hope to. We're building towards that. In fairness, we started off with a very young uh, team of young lads who want to progress and they have showed that under 21 and minor level that can do that. Now, the, of course, the big question is can that bring that across the line at senior level? Oh. You know, we can only work and help them towards that. We feel we have committed a young bunch of fellas. If you, you know, that, that's where they want to be. We're probably uh, a little bit lacking on... Uh, 28, 29 year old fellas to settle them in but give them time and they will get there and in terms of the under 21s, I know we talked to Anthony and to Ronan, they're, they're giving great commitment do they see what Donegal have done that they could follow? well they do, well, you see, um, you know, people probably have forgot that Donegal uh, won a Division 1 National League back 4 or 5 years ago maybe 6 years at this stage and they have fellas who have competed and won all stars so, I mean, they had a base of a very good squad and the fairness of Jim, he has blended youth with age and got a very, very good outcome of it, you know. And, you know, modern football, as in GAA, has got very professional and I suppose county boards and there's a lot of money involved and they expect professionalism and they're getting that. And Donegal have brought that to an extra level and, you know, they're getting success because of that. And in terms of football 2012 or 2013, would you change anything? Would you agree with Mickey? Well, I suppose, yes, I suppose everybody looks at their own era when they're growing up and watching football and you would see, you know, the better footballer always excelled and, you know, it was the old story that the county footballer, when you come back to his club, you'd pick him out because he was the better footballer and on the county stage, the better footballer, Sean. Systems have closed that down, but that's the professional era we are in now and I suppose we copy other sports like soccer and rugby and we look at how we can stop the other team from playing and how we can use our assets to the best potential and that's what's going on now. Okay, well, listen, lads, I know that uh, it's been a long night, so I want to thank you for uh, waiting on and being part of our panel. So Terry Highland, Barney Breen, Mickey Quinn and Mick McGrath, give them a big round of applause. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, lads. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of the evening. We hope that you've enjoyed it. But there is one very important function that has to be done because it's part of the reason why we're all here. Because certainly from my point of view, when I come to do a match in Breffney Park, I always end up here. Because uh, to me, it's not alone just the best spot in, in Cavan, but the, one of the best spots in Ireland. And uh, I think that we should uh, give uh, due respect to Declan Sheridan and, and Claire. But to, to explain the next part of the evening, the last part... And may I say, can I, can I ask you to do an unusual thing, to give yourselves a round of applause, because I know we got a little bit late starting, but once we got thrown in, we kind of moved as fast as we can. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being such a good audience.